Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the gold forecast. Approximately 9.30 a.m. in Honolulu, Hawaii, Tuesday, the first day of February, and this is the Daily Report. Gold is trading approximately $5 higher, 13.38 currently. Traders, there were a couple of technical indicators that drew me to the conclusion. The first thing that I want to take a look at is this 180-minute Henkin chart. As you can see right in this area, I do believe that we absolutely had a pennant or a flag formation when we look at our straight resistance area. And for that resistance, I really want to work with, first of all, this upper line right here extended to these highs here, draw it all the way down. And of course, our support level right in here. And what we can see is with out a doubt we did get a breakout and that breakout is slowly moving to the upside as indicated right here of course there is news right now in Egypt that there is some unrest going uh, a million man march so to speak and that is causing gold to trade higher but I am a technician and what I have seen in this marketplace is a solid solid base that was able to form at 1310 we are currently looking at our daily candlestick chart with Fibonacci retracement area. And we are looking at a retracement from this particular low. In other words, after it had moved up and that small retracement up to the absolute high. This is 1431. And this particular area, this 1311, what we can see at this point is it does appear as though we found some major support that's just looking at our Fibonacci base levels now when we look at our candlestick indicators as the market came down we had the black candle now this long white candle here this is simply known as a piercing line a piercing line like the engulfing bullish you open at the close and for the piercing line it needs to close at the midpoint or higher we certainly had that however to take the signal you really need to see confirmation confirmation is the following day on a daily chart you do get a higher high a higher low and a large white candle we didn't get that yesterday today as we got the market breaking out this candle did go to a pretty solid white and thereby confirmed the piercing line we got two days ago. We are looking at our longer term Elliott wave count and this of course is our daily chart with full count in it. Let me go ahead and blow that up. And here's another way that I'm looking at potential support and in terms of that channel line that I believe that this market is going to trade on. In other words, my sentiment is as this market comes down it's going to touch some sort of channel line I do believe that we'll get a small bounce, but at this point, I really believe we're going to see what's called either a flat or a corrective retracement. I think we're going to get too bullish here. So we might see the market trade down to this point or simply to trade to this higher channel line here. That higher channel line is really based upon this set of lows right in here, and that is, of course, carried forward. At that point, I do expect us to really take off because we are going to be entering the fifth and final wave and that impulse cycle. That impulse cycle, of course, is going to be five waves, three solid, strong impulse waves to the upside. That should give us actually some new highs. So I would expect it to bounce off of this area and then go into our impulse stage. But at this point, my belief is the way that it found support right in here, it might try to retest that 1387 area. But my feeling is in terms of downside limitation, it's really limited to these areas on these particular channel lines that we're looking at. The last chart that I do want to look at today is our dollar index. This is a 360 minute. It is a candlestick chart. And you can see that the dollar continues to be under pressure. You can see that right now it has broken a lot of barriers, but currently trading 77.18. And my belief is, in terms of where this market could go in terms of absolute downside, when we take a look at the series of lows that we had back here, this is November 
October of last year to beginning of November, we certainly could see it go and retest these lows that we had here, which would take this market considerably lower. I think that that's something that we also want to pay close attention to. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading, and we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily report. Bye-bye.